thing with her, he just Florida is pretty special too. Butch Morris is now in the Naval Aviation Hall of Honor as a former World War II ace. Sat down with KION today and talked about his distinguished past. It was the Secretary of the Navy's decision, you know, and uh, the Chief Naval Operations. And uh, I was the one that was, was selected to, uh, to do it. Meet 82-year-old Roy, a.k.a. Butch Boris, the first Navy Blue Angel from its inception in 1946. It's a great honor, you know, is <laughs> to be picked for that job. Is, uh, I was a bachelor, for one thing, and uh, it's really a bachelor's job when you're starting something out like that because you've got to have the full attention of your people. You've got to think it day and night. It's the only thing you think about it. And I was always, always believed that the Secretary of the Navy didn't send me down there to... Uh, to be second to the Army Air Corps, so to speak. Butch recently received one of four prestigious awards, being inducted into the Naval Aviation Hall of Honor. He was the only living recipient. Naval aviation is just short of 100 years old. I was the 60th Naval Aviator to be uh, enshrined in the Hall of Honor. It's, uh, I'm real proud. What they do is go back to the day I had hair, <laughs> about the age that I was doing all of this. And uh, so it's, a, it's a, probably about a three-foot square uh, cast bronze. And this is no planes and the original crew and pilots 56 years ago. Here's the F-6 over here. That was my first airplane, Blue Angel number one, the F-6F. Uh, the second one I commanded, uh, which was VF-191, I had the uh, Panther. Uh, Cougar, actually, it was Cougar Six uh, with the first, with the early swept wings. Butch loves all his memorabilia, and the honor and the prestige of being the best of the best. But he says, if you think you have what it takes, you're going to want it. You're going to want it badly. Uh, that's all I could think of as a, as a youngster growing up building model airplanes, going to the airport, hanging on the fence, watching the old Ford tri motors come in and land. Uh, it has to be in, in you. The difference between good pilots and pilots of lesser ability is a conviction that they're the best in the world. What a guy and what talent. An